way. Uh -huh. You have to sit down and, and ask. Hello, welcome. My name is Robin Dalko. Welcome. Today I want to share with you wealth creation. Wealth creation. Creating wealth. I think that um, you should start life with that understanding. Most of us will start life uh, believing that we will work with our talent, we will go to school, you know, um, we will look for a good place to stay. Many of us uh, will look at, you know, joining politics, starting religious organizations, you know, traveling somewhere in search of profile and some level of standard of, of life. Uh, and uh, I think that if you're able to solve the wealth problem to a, to a high level, then you will live uh, to the best of your abilities. They have conditioned the majority of the world's population, maybe 90% or more, or maybe 99% to work for money and to look for riches. Very few, those who don't worry about money, especially in terms of its scarcity, or in terms of us managing, uh, very few. And yet we have a lot of people who have been given all kind of professional training, academic training, all kind of false belief, you know. So we trade our time uh, to work for money. Most people, if they don't, the kind of work that they say they love so much, if they are not paid for continuous six months, one year, two months, uh, two years, they will not go to work. And I think that if you find a work that you're so much passionate about, if you find a profession that you're so much passionate about, then you should be able to do it with or without the salary. You know, so for them to shift a lot of people might a lot of people's mind of the wealth they, they compensated us or they compensate us with some monthly, you know, something that they call salary. And so long as most people think in terms of salaries, then their mind will never go to the wealth creation machine there's wealth creation at the country level there's wealth creation at the personal level and they all start with how we see the world our mindset if your mindset is right as to how wealth is created then you will start life by designing some kind of a system some kind of a lifestyle that you eventually push you into a stage where you create wealth and wealth creation means that you have you have entities you have businesses you have properties you have you know you have shares in some companies that continue to give birth to money that continue to grow in value which those things may not necessarily need your input you know so so let's say you have a machine that is that, that is just you know creating money for you and that is creation and that is worth creation you just sit somewhere uh, you know but you use a lot of your life to build that kind of machine most people's most people's mind will never go there so you, you see a lot of youth in africa they are looking for you know if i travel to some of these countries then i, I will get some money to buy a car and build a house and live my life meanwhile they are sitting in wealth but their mind is not there at all because the mind is shifted some of them have a lot of properties in the in the villages and in our towns but because the mind is conditioned differently they don't see any value they don't see any worth in it they are looking they've been told that if you get job in the government place if you get a multinational job you'll be okay they don't know that there's a difference between having a job and creating wealth and and for me the focus should be on creating wealth it's not it's not on getting a job and once you're able to shift or know the difference then you'll be able to live a very successful and fulfilled life where you don't become a slave to money where you don't become a slave to money so there are all kind of ways there are all kind of things that people have used to build wealth my focus is on our people how do you build wealth when we started to you know you know think of going into business um, I don't think the way I am, I don't think that I will be able to work in a government sector <laughs> as a government employee. I don't even think I'll be so much comfortable working in any so-called multinational or any, so, any, any place. Why? Because of the way I process issues, because of the way it's very difficult for me to say, so, you know, I can work and take instructions, but the, the way people uh, attach their relevance to how much they are paid 
uh, has been something that has always fascinated me. That they believe that uh, they will be paid a certain amount of money and that will make them worthy. I, that has been a thought that has always. And I remember the first time I traveled to another country and I, I saw how our people were living there. And, 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 and when I would compare it with the, you know, the things that they come to say whenever they visit Ghana, I was amazed that our people could be so much oblivious to world creation. And, and living it's almost as if they were rehearsing to live another life somewhere and yet they've been there for 20 years 30 years 40 years and it's just about you know going to work 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 and there's no quality of life and that what really uh, for me uh, the misunderstanding there will be uh, word creation because then when you set a machine when you understand how word is created then your life you say that okay i'm building it but this is what i'm noted of and most people have never known that and so there is something that you focus building a business entrepreneurship even though it, it, they say it's a bit tough and it is um it, when it starts to work it's one of the best things to use to create work business in any field in any in anything whether it's construction it retail mining you know uh, anything, Coco Sale, uh, uh, computer business, any any business. If you're able to build it to a certain level where you start to employ people, that thing can become a word creation machine for you. Uh, the other thing is properties. If you if you if you're able to buy a lot of land or build properties, if you have a structure for that, that becomes because uh, let's say you have about hundred unit apartment or thousand unit apartment, <laughs> and the, the rent from that property can take care of you and your family for the next two hundred years or three hundred years if you manage them well, and that and uh, which means that when your son is going to school or when your child or your daughter is going to school, they want to become doctor, lawyer, engineer. Those yes, they will, they will go, but they will not have to work uh, for them to get uh, to have salary to eat. That's the sense of creation, especially uh, transgenerational wealth. You know, so you build structures, you build all these things, and they. But it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of heat. It takes a lot of knowledge. It takes a lot of content development because the world has conditioned almost all of us to be very happy with little and to accept that living is difficult and money is difficult to come by. And that, especially those of us in Africa, and that we cannot be successful here unless we join politics. We cannot be successful here unless we get some multinational job or government position. We cannot be successful here unless we travel. We cannot be successful here unless we start some religious organizations and collect people's money. You know, that is the kind of thinking that most people have. But to start life, structure your life and build the work machine uh, most people don't have that kind of education because then they will say that how do i start that business without capital how do i build that work without the first thing you need is the right knowledge to to do what you have to do that in life with the right understanding and and I, for me if you want anybody to start life i will say that no that life if you don't have a certain level of worth life is tough life will screw you car requires fuel to move uh, as the body requires blood to live life you require some amount of wealth to live life according to your terms according to your terms and so the wealthy in this life don't saddle themselves with a lot of things that the rest of the people saddle themselves with the wealthy are not so much consumed with uh, what kind of course they have to read in the university, getting a job. They don't. They teach them how to create wealth and how to manage it and how to keep it for the next generation. That really that's what they spend their life to study. So those who have kept wealth for the last 500 years, 1000 years, if you study those families, you will see that their focus is to teach the next generation that and the rest of us we are teaching our next our, our 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 generation our children uh, to go to school pass exam and get a job and be a good employee it's good but if you have to keep that job in order to have money then you don't understand how wealth is created you build skills you build professional life that's okay there's a way that you have to contribute to society you know somebody had to create the things that we're using that's fine but if you have to work to eat and without that, you will not eat. And you, it's, your core, it's your core belief that <laughs> there's no other way to it than um, you are operating with the wrong knowledge. You are operating with the wrong knowledge. And that's why I love uh, business. That's why I love real estate. You can do a lot, 
if you study these things you commit your life to study these things and they are wide range areas that's why i love when people are building things that will continue to bring some monetary value or some value without them putting all their time into it without putting their all their life into it you build something that runs on its own so wealth is created by systems and structures wealth is created by systems and structures and those who understand this and spend time to build these systems and structures will live a wealthy life and those who don't will spend all their time to go and work as officers you know law enforcement officers uh, teachers you know doctors uh, laborers construction workers and they get the salary and they eat that is a good start because most of us will not will not come from a family where there's worth you know maybe your grandfather didn't leave you anything your grandparents didn't leave you anything maybe you, you are even taking care of your family yes that's that's the reality that you are confronted with but you have to understand that world is created differently the way they keep people in bondage in this life is by hiding a lot of knowledge from them or making people uh, fixated on things that will not bring their freedom. So if you watch TV, for instance, it's all comedy and sports and entertainment and religiosity and politics, you know, so people will spend all their time. For instance, now that there's social media, it's not those who are creating the content. I'm talking of those who are consuming the content because something about world creation is that those who create wealth are producers. They are not just mere consumers. And so you just consume. Let's say you have 20 hours uh, to do something, and then uh, maybe 90% of that time you are using to just consume. You watch something, hey, 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 I'm stressed, you're releasing your stress. Yet your, your finances are in trouble. Those who create wealth will use a lot of their time to build these structures and systems that will continue, that will continue to bring uh, a value and to bring money, even if they are not present or even if they are asleep or even if they are not living anymore you know so building structures that continue to create money is actually worth it's an automated system you know that continues to give birth and it takes a lot of time for those who didn't inherit it to build this it takes a lot of time for those who did not inherit wealth to build wealth and all of us wealth is in us we were actually born with it the, the trouble is that we don't know how to bring that word out god did not create us to come and suffer you know god did not create that that's why he gave you talent that's why he gave you time he gave you a, a ability to fight back that's why he gave you ability to learn that's why he gave you that brain that you can develop the problem is most people never get access or never believe that they have what it takes to build wealth or never have access to the right knowledge that will change them or maybe they don't even think that is possible for them and that is the challenge but you, are, you will never see anybody who believes that you'll be able to create wealth and continue to search for that knowledge who will not find everybody we believe that and we continue to search for that knowledge and we build an app we build an on it one step at a time you know so for you to believe that uh, i'm in ghana there's no opportunity here i can't do anything here i have to move out you don't know what <laughs> they call wealth creation you are in a village somewhere you're teaching as a young man there are a lot of lands in every school and you feel like you're hopeless open your eyes if you open your eyes you see wealth all around you the problem is you are consumed with negativity you are consumed with hopelessness and so you cannot open your eyes to see so there's a certain amount of optimism that you have to have in yourself and in your environment to say that i can create this world and it's built one step at a time one block at a time and it's a machine it's a machine that you're building that machine will then continuously work it's a perpetual motion machine <laughs> that works continuously if you spend time to build it and then all of us have the opportunity to do that i said that god created us and he gave us these gifts the problem is ignorance and in the good book it says that for lack of knowledge my people perish so if you're perishing in anything if you if you if you wallow in poverty it's not because the country you come from there's no there's no prosperity there. There, there, there as people say them there are no opportunities there no opportunities are created opportunities are not found where you go the wealth creation opportunity is everywhere 
some people say that oh when i went somewhere there are a lot of opportunities to get salary and buy a car and leave that is far from creating wealth the opportunity to create wealth is in you it's in you and it's, it's it, you build you, you once you understand once you shift that mind you'll be able to build structures and systems around and you'll be able to create or provide economic solutions and the more people you create economic solutions for the more worthy you become you know and your ability to connect with the right people your ability to connect with the right people who have created wealth or who understand how wealth is created that is how you so when you finish school and a young person especially a young man young woman never believe that wherever you are you cannot create wealth if you're looking for a job that's a whole different thing you want a nice life easy life simple life but if you want to create wealth they're entirely different things so when you finish school and they say that you yeah, don't have a job it means you don't have something that will give you salary that salary having salary is different from creating wealth uh, you have to focus on wealth creation not on job job is a good start but even if you're looking for a job you're looking for a job so that maybe you can build some technical skills maybe you can you can know how to work maybe you can acquire some professional skills but that will never create work that's what there's the, a lot of professionals have no idea how work is created a lot of professionals are obsessed with salaries and and salary increment and job and that is not worth creation and that's why a lot of professionals especially in the west run on on, on loan you know and consumer loan you know loans just personal loans loans for their house loans for their car loans for their children's school loans for their hospital bills and even if they die there's loan you know that is not worth wealth creates abundance abundance of money abundance of value abundance of wealth and so wealth is not I'm going to school I get a good job I become this and then I get a good salary that's 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 a, that's a life that they define that was created for the last hundred years before those years that they created jobs and their descriptions and salaries people were wealthy people were wealthy and the things that they used to build with they still exist today and there's nowhere in this world that you cannot create wealth there's nowhere in this world there are places that maybe you may not have a job and that pays you for you to be that much happy but you can shift your mind from just being visited just being obsessed just being so much infatuated with salary and how much you're paid and things like that and focus on how do i create wealth what it takes study it study it wealth is in everybody everybody can create wealth the gift that god gave you some people have good head to analyze issues and build things some people can play football some people can act some people can be politicians some people can even start whatever that you have so long as there's something that you have all of us there's something that we have that we can build with and 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 it always takes a small seed for that tree to germinate and i'm saying that when it comes to wealth creation this ability to have that right mindset the ability to acquire that right knowledge the ability to have this uh, uh, to build those systems and structures that build wealth i'm saying that they mainly fall within being able to build businesses they mainly fall within uh, property or real estate they mainly fall within some people going to the stock market to buy shares even though that is very complicated for most people so going to your village to say that all oh, the thousand hectare land that my people have i want to develop it over the next 10 years that is wealth creation if your family has cocoa farm somewhere and you think that your family is poor there's something that you have to know there's something that has eluded you you know and so this kind of school that we have now is creating uh what they call salary workers you know and what they call employees it's not creating wealth uh, wealth is different the school will help you to you know be able to harness information and things like that but use that to go and build wealth never feel disadvantaged never feel minimized never feel uh, marginalized never feel diminished just because you can't find a job you find a job to get salary but you can create wealth with the talent that you came with <laughs> you just need the right information just need the right knowledge i'm so glad that a lot of people calling to say that i want your books i'm so glad there are so many young people now reading our books perspective how to develop the mindset to start and, and build your business you know because that will shift the way you look at yourself and your situation um, streamline how, um, how to teach yourself money streamline how to teach yourself money and resilience how to develop courage <laughs> to fight as an entrepreneur you know those basic things if you have them rightly set and you stop to uh, you know some people don't have anything they are in difficulty but they still 
disagreeing and debating the very things that will help them to launch into their freedom. You don't need that. If you're in a difficult situation and somebody says something that is very opposite to what you know, because you are at the, at the bottom, why do you fight that which can lift you? Because if you continue on to hold on to those ideas, then you continue to be at the bottom. But if somebody is saying that, have a second look at your situation. You have what it takes to build. And you say that, uh, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. You need capital to start a business. You know, everybody and the family that they come from. I need to hear from the Spirit of God before I start something. I, do, I cannot do anything in Ghana except I go to Canada. You know, I have to get to China. Somebody has to give me a loan to start my business. You know, you no. Those are not, those are not it. If you're very truthful to yourself, you hold on to good character. You believe in perseverance. You believe in hard work. You believe in knowledge. You believe in skill building. You believe in productivity. You believe that you are, you, you know, if somebody helps you out, you are, you are there to protect that person's interests. You build good network of people and you continue to upgrade yourself. I'm never sorry for a young man who has completed school and is looking for knowledge and building himself. I'm never for it. sorry because I know that eventually that person will break out and build something significant with their lives. So long as I see you with a book, so long as I see you go after knowledge, so long as I see you trying to develop yourself, because a human being, the way you build capital, the way you build yourself, the, the way you build, you develop, is by, uh, is by changing and improving the way you understand life, going after knowledge. And so if I see any young man with a book trying to challenge his thought, I have hope that if you don't give up, because if you continue to build, if you continue to challenge, if you continue to learn, a time will come that those things that you have been learning will push you to a stage that you see that you have capacity now. You start to have a lot, continue to have a lot of respect for yourself. You continue to have confidence in yourself. You continue to, you start to see opportunities all around you. You start to believe in your country. You start to have respect for your leaders and the people around you. You start to be a person that people can depend on. You start to work hard. You start to organize your life, plan your life, have goals for your life. Those things will eventually make sure that you become successful. So the desperate is, is you know, if you're desperate, is out of. Um, a lack of knowledge is uh, is out of lack of information is lack of uh, believe in yourself is lack of credibility and lack of character building you know there's no need for you to be desperate no need so i if somebody will say that when i went to school i didn't get a good course <laughs> but you can read the right you can always get the right knowledge informally as well or you can, you can even go and get formal knowledge but that will not create wealth what creates wealth <laughs> it's what I'm talking about you know having the right mind shifted you know to a stage where you believe so much in productivity and resource when you believe so much in, in organizing your life when you believe so much what do you know about money when they give you money your first decision on that money proves what you know about money and if what you know about money is consuming it's not multiplying it's not investing it's not building that machine then you will continue to have that facade life you know you will continue to you know so people want to show you their car and their houses and for most people that shows that the person is rich maybe but to be wealthy they have nothing to do with the car you drive or the house you live in to be wealthy is a lot of machines that create wealth that you spend your time to build to build to spend your time to build you know so the wealthy have a lot of entities a lot of machines a lot of mechanisms that continue on to produce money even when they are asleep so maybe you tried one concept it worked multiply that grow that one concept maybe you tried one concept at a, a San Kregua and it worked what prevents you from going, going to Cape Coast or going to Obois or going to Kofodia to multiply that maybe you started to plant Kube you know coconut and it started to work for you and maybe it was one plot or two plot or ten acres what, what prevents you from expanding that to 100 acres it's a machine that you're building and that's how is how wealth is created wealth is not looking for visa to travel to saudi arabia no that is you are looking for job you're looking for employment wealth is not in you going to america to become a lawyer or doctor that is you looking for a job with you know some decency or some uh, you know when people talk in terms of salary and they say that they are <laughs> they are better off in, in somewhere than ghana is it they don't understand how wealth is created wealth is created by solving problems building these machines that can solve economic problems and that is why we committed our lives to do and you're building and you're building and you need a lot of confidence in yourself you need a lot of confidence in the country you need you need a lot of confidence in our people 
I need a lot, you need to show a lot of respect because worth is built with people. You cannot build worth and cut people out, no? Somebody knows something that you don't know. Somebody knows somebody that you don't know. And so your ability to link with the right people, build the right team, will ensure that you will be worthy. Your ability to build the right structures and systems that control and preserve the money. You have little money, you're using all that money to go and have wedding. You have little money, you're using that money to go and get another degree. Meanwhile, the first degree that you did, we don't know what you did with it. You're going to do another MBA in marketing, political science, sociology, uh, conflict resolution. Those things, well, wh where are you going to take them? And no wonder, most of them will try to get into politics because then that the policy becomes a way out for them to uh, become relevant and, and to have some money. But wealth is not the one that you stole from the people. Wealth is the one that you built over time with your talent and with the gift that God gave you. My name is Wabin Dalko. Um, thank you very much for taking your time to watch this wealth creation. Spend your life to study that. Start your life by creating wealth. Because uh, don't start your life looking for job and looking for those uh, good scores and all those. They are good, but they are not the main thing. The main thing is you building wealth machines. Building wealth machines and study those especially if because this life they control almost everybody very few people are not you know are not controlled majority of the people have been conditioned to just go to school get a job look for a better salary you know buy a house and credit you know build a buy a car you know pay, pay your children school fees have party have weddings and things like that and uh, even if when you die it costs money for you them to get you to the ground you know so don't underestimate the power of wealth money they say answers everything especially on this earth on this earth you must spend your life to study this and and really that's how that's what you teach your children if they are not good with money there are a lot of things that they will not be good with if you want to understand most people's lives give them money give them give people money and see how the decisions that we make with money whether we are truthful or we lie to get it whether we will just spend it or make it more productive make it more multiply that's how we understand life because if you go to the hospital you see that people people are there mainly some people cannot even afford the surgery and it's money so wherever you live now the lifestyle that you have is direct reflection a lot of the times of how much worth that you have in terms of money economic value that you have created over your lifetime that's that's what i mean whatever maybe if you have if you had millions you will not even keep that job you will not even leave it at you will not live at that place you don't even wear those you will not drive that car most people if they had a lot of wealth so money plays a big role people have lost their lives because they, they, they could not afford the hospital bills people have all kind of complications because of lack of money most most people are going through the the sea you know the, the mediterranean sea uh, a lot of young africans are going through that because they are looking for wealth meanwhile the wealth is in them the problem is that understanding they have the mindset that they have developed over time and unfortunately we are we are we, we spend the, uh, much of our life in schools and in things that continue to teach us everything but wealth creation everything but wealth creation freedom is being able to create wealth so that you leave your aspirations and you change lives and add value to human life that is worth that is worth. so i want to say thank you very much uh, for taking your time to watch this thank you